Nightlife in Grenada has really toned down compared to the pre-COVID times, but nonetheless, there's still nightlife. Hi, my name is Abby Green, popularly known as Bubu from Bubu's Boulevard, and I am a lifestyle blogger of foreigner living in Grenada. <laughs> Make sure you watch till the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share to your friends. Let's go. First things first, money. You need money to have a good time. Banks are closed at 2 p.m. but the ATM works 24 hours. Usually shops close here at 8 p.m. Like you see the food fair already shutting down. Um, Spiceland Mall would close at 9. Uh, it used to close at 10, but after the COVID situation, I think they've started with closing at 9. Maybe they're going back to 10, I don't know, but that's it. But the busiest place is the Wall Street. I think you can see stuff here till probably 10 p.m. Food vendors, food trucks, giving chicken and chips, fish and chips and all that. So this is where... It all happens in the middle of Grand Anne's. The Venus Bar used to be here. They're no longer here. This was a spot for friends, acquaintances to lime into the night. And uh, what do I mean by liming? This is a slang they use here to say having a good time, drinking, dancing, and just laughing and just having a good time. Like, if you want me to go, you can be looking the way you do. You can be cooking the way you do. You can be hooking me. <laughs> There's also a pharmacy here called Gittin's Pharmacy. They also close at 8. Most times, service providers close at 8. So have that at the back of your mind when you're coming to Grenada. So just across Wall Street is the entrance to Cameroon Park and um, some people hang out there at night although it's poorly lit but if you feel like you want to take the Grand Dance Beach Breeze then this is a place for you. You just sit down. It's quite family friendly like when we got here we saw some kids and this is Grand Dance Beach at night. What you're staring at are the lights of the carinage from Grandin's Beach and you see this that's a cruise ship it's just I don't know the words to describe the feeling when I saw this it was just breathtaking We are now in True Blue. True Blue has a signature for luxury apartments, especially for students. 
Why? Because this is the road that leads to the famous medical university, St. George's University. This place is cascaded with different eatery joints from shawarma spots, pizzerias, ice cream bars, and drinking bars, you name it. And this is the famous St. George's University. I didn't want to go in. It's a beauty at night. You need to see it for yourself. But this is a picture of one of those nights that I went in. So I think I'll do a video separately for that. Okay. And we head in briefly to Container Park. Again, I'm not going to do an in-depth video because I would do a different video on this one. And Container Park is like the Ibiza of St. George's University. This is a place where you have stores, you have ice cream bars. Um, the drinking bar there is called The Lab. So most people actually stay there till late, say 11ish midnight ish i think there's a spot like a projector screen for people to watch movies there so it's really infiltrated by the sgu students But nonetheless, you can go there for sushi. You can go there for the Cuban delis there. You, you can have different kind of food there. So it's a spot you need to go to. It's also family friendly, especially in the evenings. You have some swings there for your little ones. Now Lavo Lanes. This is a bowling alley that has restaurant and bar. I feel this is gradually taking the spot of nightclub in Grenada because the nightclub we used to know is bananas, especially for SGU students. And um, I don't know what happened to bananas. It's shot. I don't know whether it's temporary or it's permanent, but bananas used to be the number one place. Um, but here in Lava Lanes, you can actually do everything you want to do when it comes to nightlife, like liming. Seriously, you can do all that here from bowling, drinking, dancing. I don't want it anymore. Will you not? 
you're the one who tried to hurt me with a goodbye. You think I'll crumble? I will survive. I'm love, I know I feel right. Most arrival happen in the night or in the evening. So if you're coming to Grenada, you most likely will come in the evening or at night. Depend on how easy immigration is to you. Now let's take it back to Christmas period. It's always Christmas period every year. So this is very important that you know what it looks like at Christmas. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight, walking in the winter wonderland. It's really, the heat is really on, like the lights are really on, literally. So, I'm really, 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 really enjoying it. I hope you enjoy it just the, the way I am doing. Bonfire at Mount Cinnamon. Um, actually, the restaurant is the one that runs the bonfire. That's the Savage Restaurant by the Grandons Beach too. That is by their own section. Most of the spots, they usually would have a live band day. I wish you could experience, the word is experience, I wish you could experience a super talented guy called Jefferson Ramirez. He is so talented. He normally would play at spots like this, especially at Dodgy Dock on Wednesdays. They call it Street Food Wednesdays. He is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's easier that way. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Yeah. Just give me a minute, I'll be right back. Yeah. I wouldn't say service was great here because I literally had to do get my cocktail myself and all that. In the staff defense, they said they were understaffed. So. And it was a security guy who was really hands-on to make sure that I had a good time here. But besides that, the kids really loved it here. They really, really loved it here. I would advise that you come here with a reservation because they most likely would attend to the people who are actually at the resort. That is, the people who are staying at the resort. You guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
watching a concert and we were just the only people in the cinema can you imagine empty seats <laughs> but we really enjoyed it it was just like our, our private movie screening you guys should go see Encanto it's really really interesting sometimes when the Spiceland mall is closed we just come here and watch the bikers do their thing sometimes it's car racers that's toy car racers competing against each other it's so much fun to watch especially with the kids so the mall itself most of the shops there close except the ice cream bar that's the ice cream shop the sugar and spice shop <laughs> So that's it folks. I hope I did not disappoint. Anyway, my lifestyle is a family friendly lifestyle. So you're not going to see the jabbing and the whining and the liming. You won't see all that here. So you could check other videos. Probably you'd see that on the internet. Mm-hmm.